Greetings. Peace is one of the most powerful, powerful things that you can give yourself. When you're dealing with those who display narcissistic tendencies or traits, you will learn at some point that their number one tool is confusion. By using confusion as a weapon, it allows those who deal with the narcissist, if you will, it would allow those that they come in contact with to not trust in who they are. As you find peace for yourself, the confusion no longer works. Because you find a sense of clarity, a sense of understanding in who you are and what you desire along your journey. Now this works for you, but it will not work for those who want to use confusion as a weapon against you. Now it's not to say that there is some huge diabolical plan behind the thinking of the narcissist. If anything is short sightedness, they would do anything possible to keep up a, a false idea of themselves. So much so that they're unable to see the forest for the trees. They don't realize that in feeding the idea of confusion in others, that they keep planting seeds of untrustworthiness. So when you find yourself in a moment of clarity with yourself, in a moment of peace, able to allow yourself grace for believing in such confusion, you take away the power. Better yet, you take back the power that you gave to somebody that was manipulating you. Now, when finding this clarity with yourself, they can no longer form the weapon of confusion against you. That will frustrate them. So much so that they may revert back to what they initially did to build any kind of connection with you. And many times we see that as lump bombing. It doesn't matter if it's friend, family, uh, intimate relationships. It doesn't matter what kind of relationship. The love bombing is first. Because after that, as they begin to chip away at you with confusion, you think about the first impression. There was a school of thought that said the first impression is the last impression. And to an extent, that's true. But even more so in the society that we live in, it's not the case. Because we're exposed more to the ideas, beliefs, and realities of other more than ever. The internet changed that. And I'm not here to demonize it or any of that. Nah. It's a simple understanding that no matter what the first impression is, no matter the amount of love bombing, now more than ever, it's easier to see the wolf in sheep's clothing. It's easier to see the narcissist for who they really are. The trick is to trust in what we know to be true. And to do that, we need peace. We have to give that to ourselves. And the more we find that clarity within ourselves, the more we nourish that within ourselves, within our reality. We can trust in what we are perceiving and move forward with that newfound knowledge, with that heightened awareness, if you will. So then when you deal with somebody outside of you who wants to manipulate you, who wants to embed that confusion into your reality. You can see it from a different perspective. You see them coming. You know what they're attempting to do. The interesting aspect is because you can see the forest for the trees. Doesn't mean they can. So when you're dealing with somebody who wants to love bomb you, if you will, 
you'll have a realization that they believe the confusion. That's the only way the confusion works is that they put their self in a state to where they believe the confusion so much that it has to be true to them in order for them to sell it to anybody else. And I believe this to be unconscious. As much as I would like to believe that someone is that diabolical, it takes a certain level of awareness. And sometimes, more often than not, I've seen that that awareness is not there. Not that it cannot be there, but to have that kind of awareness, you have to have a certain kind of clarity about who you are. And those who show narcissistic traits along my journey, most of them don't have that awareness because they choose not to. It goes along with the old adage of ignorance is bliss. They would rather stay at a certain state, stay in a certain state to avoid having to confront themselves. So believing in the lies, believing in their confusion, they find more comfort in that state of mind to each their own. I'm just here to remind you of the power that peace can give you, the power that clarity can give you. And the more you provide these things for yourself, the less you fall victim to the confusion that you will encounter in this outside world. It's simple, not always easy. That's okay, but trusting you, trusting your experiences, trusting the things that you are aware of, and don't be so hard on yourself. One day at a time, one step at a time. But know that when these, these people who use confusion or attempting to manipulate or control you. They're fighting for power outside of themselves. They want to control the world around them because they have no control of their inner world. And for somebody who has found peace along their journey, I almost sympathize for them. Now, not enough that I will give away my own power to satisfy their need for control. Not at all. Not at all. They just haven't realized or they haven't accepted that the power is all within themselves. So they want to control others. Check to protect yourself at all costs. Sometimes it's going to be quiet. Sometimes your environment surroundings are not going to be filled with the distractions that you were accustomed to early in your journey. That's okay. The more you find peace within, the more you'll find peace without. Because outside of you is going to reflect those certain things that you, that you consume within. So the more you find gratitude, clarity, awareness, peace, you're going to see it outside of you. You're going to find it sometimes in the most mundane things. That's the beauty of it all. But you give, your, you give yourself a, a sense of direction, if you will. Instead of being lost in the confusion. And misery loves company, right? So if you're not confused within who you are, You'll find more peace being around those and being in environments of those who share that same sentiment. And you will feel completely out of place in the midst of confusion. Knowing who you are, clarity. Wanting to control how others perceive you, confusion. That's what the narcissist needs. That's what they feed upon. So protect yourself. More importantly, trust yourself. And know that no matter what's happening outside of you, 
You have the power. You have the control. And peace is your God in life. Until next time, be blessed.